So, quick video update on the uh, regardless grid feature that uh, will uh, be in the next version of KS Code. Um, the main objective of this um, feature is to provide context with uh, respect to the positioning of objects in the scene and also um, uh, to uh, aid in the uh, navigation through space. So, there is uh, basically two um, different modes. Uh, the first mode um, has the focus object uh, at the origin of the grid. So if we change the focus object now, we're uh, focused on a different star. Um, the grid origin changes. Let's go back to maybe the moon. And now go to the moon. As you can see, the moon is at the origin of the grid. The other um, mode is uh, uh, keeping the origin uh, as the reference system origin. So here the sun will always be the origin and in this case we see some uh, projection lines which tell us about the distance from the um, focus object to the reference uh, plane, so the fundamental plane of the reference system and also its projection. Um, so here we see that the earth is uh, uh, a bit above the equatorial plane right now. We can change this to the, the ecliptic plane and as we can see the earth is on the ecliptic plane. And we can also use the galactic uh, grid as you can see. What we can also do is start time and you will see that this gets updated automatically. So as you can see now uh, the earth is moving uh, around the sun uh, in the ecliptic and as you can see uh, you can see that in context, uh, so in the context of the galactic uh, uh, reference system, we can change to ecliptic and yeah, as you would expect it moves on the ecliptic plane. So uh, what else? Uh, this works with any object, so we can select any star, for example, see yeah, Antares for example here. As you can see now we are um, focused on Antares and it uh, tells this uh, lines tell us about uh, its location with respect to the ecliptic plane if we want to see the galactic uh, positioning so we just switch to the galactic um, grid. Um, this also works uh, with uh, other kinds of objects not only stars so uh, here we have some clusters and for example if we want to learn about the uh, Hyades we just select the Hyades here and we see that it's at about 50 parsecs from the sun.